Then we also have the trailing stop order. This is a great tool we can use in a situation where our position is already profitable and we want to make sure to realize that profit, but at the same time we think that there's more upside potential. So a trailing stop order is an order type where the stop limit is moving with the price, but only in one direction. So for example, let's say we are currently in a long position for Bitcoin. The Bitcoin price is currently at $25,000 and we are already $1,000 in profit because we entered at a price of $24,000. Then we decide to put in a trailing stop with a callback rate of 2% and we go short with the same amount of our current long position. At the current price of $25,000 per Bitcoin, our trailing stop will be set at 2% below $25,000, which is $24,500. Now, if Bitcoin falls to 24,500 and therefore reaches our stop limit, the short order will be triggered, which means that our long position will be closed. In that case, we've still made a profit of $500 with our trade. Now, if Bitcoin doesn't fall to the stop limit, but instead keeps on going up to let's say $26,000, our trailing stop limit is moving up with the price. So now it's 2% below $26,000, which is $25,480. If the price keeps rising to $27,000, the trailing stop also moves to $26,460, which is 2% below $27,000. But now if the price falls again, the trailing stop doesn't move because it can only go in one direction. So if the price now falls to $26,460, the short order will be triggered and our long position will be closed with a profit of $2,460. So as you can see, the trailing stop is a great tool to lock in profits and limit losses. The activation price of a trailing stop order is defining when the trailing stop will be activated, meaning that when the current future price moves past the activation price, the trailing stop will be set and is ready to move. However, we can also just leave the activation price empty and then the trailing stop will be active immediately.